But it's circumstances like these that make you realize just how strong you are inside. Like, when you're at the bottom of the bottom and the lowest of the low, you can only go up from there. That's one of the things that I've realized about my strength. I've also realized that it helps you create an identity for yourself. And I don't mean that as in a rape victim or anything like that, but it helps you find a community of people out there, of people who have been through the same thing. My advice for people who have ever been taken advantage of is to find peace with the situation and to accept the situation. I know it's hard. And it's so easy to blame ourselves for what happened. But the first step to ever getting through any kind of situation, whether it's rape, a breakup, some kind of loss, anything, the first step is always to accept what happened. That is the first step to moving forward. It's easy to go through life feeling like there's no purpose. But once you find purpose in anything, then you have strength. That's where your power comes from. What I wish I would have known in the past is to embrace the times in our lives that are happy, joyful, as well as the times in our lives that are what someone could describe as nightmarish or even hell. Because in reality, both or all of these events and circumstances mold us into who we are today. And I mean literally mold us into who we are today. We wouldn't have the knowledge, the strength, or even the capabilities or have now if it wasn't for everything that we've ever been through. They say our personality is a collection of all of our experiences simultaneously. And let me give you an example of this. When I got attacked by gangsters on after going to a party, which was, by the way, the last party that I have ever been to, <laughs> I, I got attacked and I punched that dude straight in the face because I was just like, not today, not right now. 